The te testing fields is where we've been stuck with rollers in the past. <laughs> but I don't know what you're talking about. There's only one person who does this. He's ginger. He's got an orange moustache. I see something funny. This is the worst one. Literally the worst one. Like, by far. This is an anomaly on the math graph. Anyone knows about anomalies and do maths? I used to love maths. Maths was my thing. English, not so much, says the guy from reading the book. So it just shows anyone can do it. Um, yeah. It's today's marshmallow. What are the chances of me getting that? Slinted on, but I'll give it a good go. All right, let's try it. It stinks. It's smelly. It's horrible. But look at that. <laughs> the cow's absolutely... I love it, which is great. I might have missed the home one. It is just about seven o'clock in the morning and Merry Christmas. To be fair, we're getting to the back end of the clamp and I was gonna take it off next time. Just decided to take its dress off itself. Gotta love these things. So, bit of a tidying job, I think. I can take this side off at least and we can use this side first. Get to the back end of the clamp now. It is from this video right now. It's 22nd of March. So we definitely have another month of cows being inside. We're very fortunate we have another clamp. Dad has been feeding the old bales. Right, first we're gonna load the feeder up. Well, load the feeder up with straights, and then untidy the mess. Oh, good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's down below, right next to the bell button, which you give it a ding-a-ling-a-ling. -ling. You get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes the very odd occasion we do a Sunday video these days. Oh, a bit of good news as well. After me collapse silo, the sun is generating two kilowatts of power currently using 27 but still you know the two kilowatts not paying for saving me 60p an hour yeah boy i also know the keenan needs a good wash but i'm i'm, I'm pretty busy at the moment okay okay I'm sorry wind power hey Turn it off because oh, always put the pressure on the pipes. Do you ever think the prongs on the shear grab aren't sharp? They are. It's leading quite well though. Have I lost my knife again? Yes. An old shear grab. Still sharper than Richard's pen knife. If you know, you know. That's it off. I know my dad would normally just bucket this out, but I reckon just the top's falling. Have a knife. Behind would be quite nice. Probably last probably two or three days. We are pulling a lot from the farm over the road, which is a lot of first cut over there now, which is good. It's just when we get into this next clamp, it's going to be third cut, like the clamp that's behind you. So the less we use that for the dairy valve, the better. When you get down each cut, a bit of persuasion. Yeah, when you get down each cut, like so, first cut's your best, second cut, your second best, third cut, your third best. And then there are some great people that do fourth, fifth, and sixth. And you guys are crazy men. Oh, salute. This is the water trough washed my eye in. So I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna wash it out of the let the water trough go, so it's nice and clean. Still haven't put the top on this yet. It's been nearly two years. Just gonna wash my hands. That stings. Oh baby! Oh baby, baby! Oh that is a uh, pink. <laughs> which is a lot more than I need this stuff's very wet so wetter less speed it works out King. I do like that feature of the Keenan little things that is wet must be on a lot of moisture at the back I've fed him less than they need 
the cars is already a little bit on their floor, so hopefully it'll eat up nicely fed and they come out of the bale a lot better when they're fed. Obviously they're just in that bit, so I'll just send them around. Catch up with later, see how we get on with the clamp and see how we open the new one. We've got a lot of stuff to move, so I'll see you in a bit. Cows have not eaten up, so probably I can't remember what day we start this one. A few days has gone by. On the button. Yeah boy, might be a bit creaky. Start. Start the Kinan. The only thing wrong with this Kinan, and it is, I need to change it, lights on, is that like it's on the pace system at the moment. The pace system takes probably two minutes to load in the morning, and those two minutes feel like it's forever. So I made that load, and we're not using the pace system. There's enough things going on at the moment where we don't have to be messing about with it. We're not bothering with pace. Sorry, Keenan, but just one less thing to think about. Over the, over the weekend, it's Monday morning today, bright and breezy, dry. I oh, know, it's not gonna be dry for the rest of the week, but hey, oh, here we are. So I've used that corner, I've got a little bit less to use, but it's, it's a little bit damp because it's at the back. It must have been holding moisture a little bit more than everything else. And it has been a little bit damp and cows have been a little bit less keen to eat it because it's a little bit sharp. So we've mucked the middle passage out twice in seven days. Normally it's like every seven days once or every 10 days if we're lucky. So it's just a little bit worse. And obviously this is looking a little bit brown because we've just been hammering that side whilst it's been open. Right, our jar Tom. There's only one person who does this. He's Ginger. He's got an orange moustache. I'll let you fill in the blanks. Obviously be super careful when you top off a size clamp definitely like this because it could slip because you're on the last bit like that side slips. Do you Take your job off. She's off. Over 50% of accidents happen when you're going down. Fun fact. Probably best. Moving that would have moved the shear grab, I think. Right. We're grabbing. is loaded up you can kind of see hopefully from that far is uh you can see where we're grabbing it's nice and fresh behind it's just the face but luckily we've got a good shear grab that shear grab is class so it keeps a better face on it putting that there i need to bag up some cake for the little carbs for about 19 for it let's get it fed out get that eaten up and then got to work on that oh it's gonna be a job that you can see from before we were eating some of the really marshmallowy ones so like the one in the corner there, try and get them eaten up. There's no point trying to move them again because they will not move well. So this is the probably second worst bale. We used the worst, but it's squished. Sloppy, big bale. It's in. And if anyone knows, if you ever have a cut in your hand and doing acidic silage, it's the best. Better than all the rest. Yeah, it's, it, it smells a bit pokey, but look at that. That says it all, doesn't it? Look how excited they get for that. So they're good bales. Like I say, 24 hours it took to make those bales. From mowing to wrapping, definitely getting to the end of the food. So all these bales that we put on here, and I knew they were going to be a pain in the ass when we put them on here. They're going to have to get moved. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, a lot, a lot. There might be 60 bales, maybe. 
Can't wait. How many are we going to rip? Probably 59. Going to move them there. It's 1st of April. So in six weeks, I'm going to have to move again. Sound like an Ollie Bloggs. If you've ever seen an Ollie Bloggs video, he likes to move fertilizer. I like to move big bales. I know which ones I'd rather do. And it's going to be hot. Hot, hot. I went for a run yesterday and my whole neck is sore. It must have been tensing. And yet tomorrow, it's going to hurt even worse. If you know, you know. Second day Dom's is the worst. So we're coming up with a new plan. Moving all them bales into the bear. And I'm gonna end up moving them again because we're gonna be chopping grass. Everyone watching this would have gone, Tom, what are you doing? It's a great question. So dad's just moving. They move that trailer, then they're gonna move that trailer, then they're gonna tidy up down here, then they're gonna put the bales down there. We didn't wanna do that because we didn't know what we were doing in this area. But what I'm gonna do is crush all that when we get time. But I'm gonna rip up all of our yard because obviously we wanna put them new slats in as well. So we're not gonna get a crusher until we've done everything. Say that, there's always gonna be something. And then all the crush is gonna pile into there. And then that's gonna be a nice hardcore area for everything we wanna do. Is the plan anyway. So, but that's not gonna get done before first cut grass. Probably, but because we've got lots to do there. I just can't be asked moving things 500 times, which is understandable, I think. So, uh, yeah. That's what we're doing. On top of this as well, so I have to stop for two seconds. Dad was just chatting, oh, what do you want me to do today? I was like, you get some fur out. And he was like, oh yeah, good, good idea. So he's gonna get some fur out, obviously. Crushes in front of fur. Like, just everything is in the way these days. Drive for one day in the north. Get the tills are on. Get grass. It's a bit late, or I think we're. I actually only think we're about a week behind. Maybe a little bit more than last year. But the year before, when I had the Case Maxim, which again was a quality tractor, um, I think I was. I think we went on the 27th of March. That was a wet year, though, and I was keen to get off. This must be a wet year because it's the third of April today. First load still. Going on. Good afternoon. We can just them on the floor before you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, right, we'll see how it's spreading. What, what should we put on? I don't know how, how much it's Will we be going again before Sarloid? No. Probably not. No. The grass is growing pretty well. No, yeah, well, nothing's on it. Well, it's not had nothing, has it? It's had that slurry of December, you've got you did, and we had January, February, what I did. So everything's had a little bit somewhere. On the whole side of this farm, has had slurry on throughout the winter, so it's growing. I'll put another 50, 60 units on and that'll do salary. I'll start on the fields, I know, that'll do salary. Get it growing. Get it growing. Right. When I come back, I'll want another two back. Definitely go 50, 60 units, and then forget about it. You know, we'll not do any more for the- Price has dropped. Hey? Another 20 ton. Another 20 ton. Price has dropped, hasn't it? It's cheaper than cake. Work it out. It's cheaper than cake. Should we try this again? So oh, this is second load, fourth bag. Second load, Probably been noticed, right. and Ben noticed straight away it's quite a large prill. Yeah. And it's because it's a large prill, it's not flowing quite as fast as your nitram or even that Poulan flows. Which is good really, because I've had to open it up a bit. The first field, I probably only put it just over 100 weight to the acre on. Yeah. So I've opened it up to looking like now, I think we're probably 100 weight and a half on to get that 50, 50. To 100 weight is 50 uh, kilos. 50 kilos, absolutely. So uh, well, I'm looking for one and a half hundred weight really. So I'm looking at 50 plus uh, units per acre, um, just as a top up. And to be honest with you, I've never seen the meadows 
and mowing grass look as well at this time of year. Yeah, we've not got as many wet spots, touch wood. Well, no, someone's us. been doing a lot of draining over the last five years. Okay. Every wet spot I've drained is dry. There's an odd little damp area, but the tractor's travelling really well. The grass is a lovely four, five inch, six inch of grass. They'll go in the slurry, don't worry yeah. about it. It'll make the tractor grow. Go to a bigger one, you want a bigger tractor, you've got a bigger tractor. <laughs> but the, the sward is really tight. You know, it's not been overgrazed, it's not been over slurried at this size, and it really is looking good. There's a few docks coming, they always are. We'll mow them out first time, whether they want spraying for the second cut or not, we'll see. We'll have a look. Yeah, we'll have a look. Mow them out before the seed, so they're going to get tired again. But I've fertilised every inch that I can get. There's not a Travelled problem. everywhere. Travelled everywhere. I've seen you've gone a little, I did have the drone up, but it's amazing how straight Dad can get it. On the, uh... <laughs> well, I've only racked the eye, twist the gob. Yeah, not so bad. I've done the fields often enough, so I know me. I know my points where I'm aiming for, I know I'm like, like mowing the grass. This is supposed to throw it 24 metres. I give it probably 20 to 22 metres, I won't go 24. There's a bit of wind, but this big prill seems to be, you know, a nice heavy prill seems to be throwing it well. Yeah. But the one thing I have noticed about it, if you look at the back of the machine, normally dust is yeah. very clean. Yeah, it yeah. is a good, very clean well, that pleases me really, so everything's not getting covered in dust. It's not coming back on the tractor. Let's hope it does the good. He's happy. That's what he's there for. But it's Austrian this. Oh, it's French, isn't it? Is it made in made? France. Oh, made in France. Sorry, made in yeah, France. this one's France. Austrian company, isn't it? It's Austrian. an Austrian company. Made in France. Bad anyway, job, isn't it? The pity we, can, we can't like. make our own, isn't it? We can't get the gas or whatever. But they've sold it. Well, French can make it. French can make it. It's really made me feel good travelling. All oh, right, two of our better bedders. Down there's good. Up to the wood will be a bit damp. But if a day goes on, another yeah. day of this Tomorrow sun, you should be all right over the road, oh, maybe. Right, well, the te testing fields is where we've been stuck with rollers in the past. <laughs> but <laughs> when, when you're about. spreading so wide, if you see it coming, you've got an idea where it is. You can at least go around it. Even get along, get rolled. Rolling, grass is long enough. It wants rolling. I don't think we'll have her again now. No. No, it's just. Really Would we even bother rolling? Well, for our areas, you think not bother, but it, it'll only hurt the grass. This pasture needs rolling. Yeah, that pasture needs rolling. Mowing grass don't need well, rolling. Well, yeah, the suspension, we don't find any more no metal coming up with the chopper, it'll be right, won't it? Yeah. So There's lots of grass, that's the weather's been warm. It's yeah. been warm for a little bit, it's gone well, cold, it's gone warm again, and then grass started growing with no till. Yeah, well, it's like the manure, aren't it? Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the ground's there, the energy's in the ground, the yeah. vegetation's in the ground. And the big thing is, it's been a wet month. March has been very, very wet for us, even here. Yeah. But our drains have worked. The, the drainage system has the been good. The has been half down for half it to drain. Half down for us, so the drains have been able to pull the water This shows out. what it can do, eh? But it's such a good farm, this. Yeah. It's a very really good one. When the drains work. When the, dra well, the pit's low. The and the main dike. It'll work. It'll, you can grow anything on here, but you can't always get it off. Right, I better keep going. Are you talking about maize there? Maze, yeah, turnips, mangles, wurzels, weevils. <laughs> right, I've got yeah. lots to do. What? I want it trapped to a bit, it's just got hot, not hot, hot, to the middle, which it normally never does. There'll be straw on the radiator from the straw chopping. Look at that. That is. It's what? lived on the straw blower, hasn't it? It lives on the straw blower. It's a simple thing like this. Keeps all the radiators so clean. Has it on that other new hurling? Has it, oh yeah, has on the new hurling man. But 15 years ago when I bought this, not every tractor had this this grid on in front of. And it just keeps the engine clean. Never had a radiator problem with this. No, no. Radiator is nearly as clean as the day it went in. Yeah. All because of that. All because of that. Shag annoyed. You know, you know. The crouch therapy as well. Bang. There we go. Everyone stopped. Dad's finished from fertilizer. The lads have finished milking about quarter past six. But I know I've got a busy day again tomorrow, so I'm going to try and just take the sheet off. I'm going to stack the tires neatly there so when we do need them, we can book it in. But yeah, I'm glad there was no tires under there, to be honest. Less to like grab hold of. But you can see there's big dips as well in there, so that's interesting. I'll just have a bit of a toy up. Might stack them tires up there. The less tires I have to bring down, the better. See what she looks like underneath, eh?
Then we're good. We're gonna do the big reveal. Might as well. Free. Save me a job in the morning. Have we just found a new way to uh Obviously that's a bit gross. I thought it'd be worse than that, I thought it'd be all black, that's black, that corner, get rid of that. But that's not too bad actually. It's gone a bit white, that's just where the black sheep, but up here, it's solid where these bales have been. Look at that. Dry. It's drier. Yeah, I think it will be dry this. Oh, that smells beautiful. It smells a bit like big bale though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's thick cut grass in it. Yeah, it got big bale vibes. I don't think that's bad at all. We'll have a proper look in the morning, I think, because the weather's, the light's just, the light's just not playing games right now. But I'll have to fork, tidy that up in the morning, fork that out, grab, and we'll have a look what's underneath. But have we cracked, have we solved how to do silage without having to buy things in apart from big bales? I, can, I can't believe how solid it is under here. We'll check you out in the morning. Bit of a late night, well, not too late. The light's still here, isn't it? And uh, we'll catch up with you and we'll see how we get on. See you in the morning. Oh, and there's me stack of bales. Why was I going to put it in the clamp? I think it's Dad who mentioned, oh, we'll put them in the clamp. Daft. I don't use a lot in the morning, so I just wanted to get two grabs. There we go. Beautiful. It does not take long to get through the ramp of the clamp. Like two, three days we'll be up there. That looks better than what that first grab looked like. Yeah, be right, that big. Front edge there is a little bit gross, but I just had some Selco under and some spuds that haven't rotted fully, so yeah. and bonus spuds. This may be better than you think, even though you it's reckon? third cut, yeah. Not sharp. It's, it's not, like, it's, it smells like big bale. Not wet, even though the front edge is always gets a bit of wet in. It, it's higher but dry. How matter. well has the big bales oh, compacted yeah, yeah. Well, it? Well, yeah, on the sheet, it's fantastic. Even ba not bad there, really. We don't look at that. No, there's no waste. There's no waste. Look at the top of that. That's yeah. fantastic. When you go, yeah, it's, it's not leaving it any smell on your hands. No, it doesn't leave that. Exactly. Those big bales have some more poke. I felt that in my hand. Yeah, a bit of acid. It's the acid yeah. that sends your pickles in your stomach for your cows. But that's all right. Like, it's soft. Yeah. You know, it's third cut. Hey, there's nothing wrong with third cut. You've not got the capacity, but there's a fair big sheep here. Three hey. more weeks. We should have cows coming out. We're aiming for about 22nd of April, so if people want to come, I'm aiming for that. Do not write in your diaries full. Don't write in a pen. Pencil so you can rub it out. Depends what weather does. Soft grass. I mean, they're not the really high performance grasses, but the leaf there. But again, when we put the till saw on and we've gone around the fields, the cover on the field is fantastic. You're well happy. Well happy. The cover on the field is fantastic. A lovely day today. Carry on till sowing. And what we have, well, I've noticed, because even though we have the frost, we haven't had the hard frost here on the coast, on the west coast. And that's what stops grass growing in the spring. All that soft material and the hard frost comes and it goes like that and it's cold and it stops growing. And because there's been a good cover of grass, the ground underneath is yeah, warmer. Warm. And, you know, there is that cover of grass. We've put the slurry on, it's just grown two or three inches. The frost has been on the top of the grass and it's not nipped our grass. It's no burning on the grass. And the, the underneath ground, the ground is slowly warming up in the sun and it's keeping the heat in. Well, maybe this video last year, they were talking about not spreading muck in autumn and it had to be spring because they didn't want it because it felt uh, it didn't do anything for the ground. On the field, just shows spreading muck all through winter it, yeah, does the world a Even if you only put 20, 20 units of nitrogen per acre, over the winter period from December onwards, they started using that. Yeah, so the straight grass, away. grass is growing. You put your 50, 60 units in organic fertilizer, obviously it's growing, it's growing again. Yeah. It's like when it's going forward, someone else is giving it another push. And that's what makes the difference. Rather than starting all about having a good leaf. A good, leaf. good leaf. It's got more sun, can absorb more. more. Yeah. So yeah, guys, on the end of this video, because it has been a little bit a long one today, and this is very up to date. This is this morning we've been cracking on. Yeah. Uh, we've had some more stone tip. All the stuff's been going on. Uh, Dad's obviously spreading fertilizer. We've got loads of stuff going on. It is so busy. I'm trying to get everything filmed. I want to get the farming stuff filmed and obviously the development. Busiest time of the year. Yeah. Because you've got all your cattle in, right, before you let any cattle out. You're feeding, looking out, and everything else is going on. Plus, you start some real work. work. 
close, you're trying to pull a parlour. Pull a parlour. At bottom time, you stagger it because you bring some in, then you bring some in, you get used to it. It's like a slow snowball, it slowly builds. This time of year, when the spring and the sun's out and you want to get on, everything's in front of you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. The grass is looking good, we've opened the clock. The diggers here ready for us to do some jobs tonight. Me and Dad have got some plan. We've got some grubbing, feed these cows, keep them happy. Fingers crossed they like it. Like I say, at the back end we get a bit pokey. There is a bit left there. And we're going to go feed it the young stock. New merch! New merch is coming! Very, very soon. New t-shirts, new hats, new hoodies, new everything. The wife is on it. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you on Friday. Thank you very much for all the comments. I try and read every single one because you are just the best. I'll tell you what, it's busy at the moment and I'm glad I moved those. What an idiot to think they'd be a good idea to put them in there. Hey ho, see you in a bit, bye.